these are the people that PennDOT and the state of Pennsylvania is trying to tax by tolling these roads and bridges. We need to put an end to that. We need to stop that before it happens. Congressman Guy Reschenthaler says he is standing up for the average commuter using the interstates. And he says if PennDOT goes ahead with tolling certain bridges, the federal government should withhold federal funding for that interstate. But as political editor John Delano reports, other leaders think that goes too far. Congressman Guy Reschenthaler says he knows how to stop PennDOT's plan to let private companies toll certain bridges, cut off the check PennDOT gets from the feds. So if they told a road or bridge is not currently told, they wouldn't get federal funds for those roads or bridges. At a meeting of the House Appropriations Committee, Reschenthaler offered an amendment to do just that, arguing Pennsylvania has plenty of money to spend without tolling. PennDOT's proposed tolling is especially egregious as Pennsylvania currently has a $10 billion surplus. The Republicans' amendment was voted down by a party line vote, with Congressman Matt Cartwright, a Democrat from Scranton, voting no, saying it went too far. Let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater. Cartwright, who opposes most tolls, wants to toll Interstate 80 at the Ohio border because out-of-state truckers and drivers pay nothing to maintain the interstate in Pennsylvania. They beat the daylights out of that road. I mean, you know, every summer there has to be construction and repair of that road. State Representative Jason Ortitai, who represents the I-79 bridge to be told, praised Reschenthaler, but worries about loss of federal money. PennDOT gets about $2 billion a year from the feds. We don't want to lose any federal funding for our road system because then everyone suffers. But at the end of the day, you need to make a point. Withholding federal money does send a message. On I-79 in Allegheny County alone, there's a $42 million federal project to repair the Neville Island Bridge and another $40 million in the works to upgrade I-79 in the North Hills. Reschenthaler says he hasn't given up fighting against the proposed tolls. John Delano, KDKA News.